rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day 12. <laughs> So I'm on my lunch break, it's about 10.30 and I'm heading over to Walgreens. I wanted to go check out and see if they have the new Wet n Wild lipsticks. I don't know why they like to put the displays up so high because it is such a pain for me to get this down. So Milani now has this, um, it's called Nobody Does Glow Like Milani. Prime Light Strobing Pore Minimizing Face Primer. Illuminating finish and then make it last prime correct set and set setting spray. I think I'm gonna go with the setting spray So this is exactly what I was looking for. It's called the suit up in vibrant color It's the wet n wild mega last liquid Cat suit glides on like the gloss dries ultra matte comfortable wear And these are all the shades I have to show you guys a bit later when I get home what I purchased from Walgreens but I put back some stuff from Milani and I picked up three of the liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild. The other colors, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I really needed. I wanted to get colors that I know I'm going to use. <laughs> with my son where is he right there we're going to bed bath and beyond so much new makeup look at that this is why i like coming to bed bath and beyond because if you go to target you'll get like this small size of the ogx shampoo for 5.99 but if you go to bed bath and beyond they have the 50% more bottle. So this one you receive 1.3, oh no, 13 fluid ounces. And this one you receive 19.5 fluid ounces for the same price of $5.99. <laughs> Does it hurt your legs? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at it later. Try it. Okay. This is what we're doing. We're getting a massage at Bed Bath and Beyond. Whoa! <laughs> Do any of you guys have the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer? I've always been curious about this because look at the design, right? But look at the price. It's three ninety nine. What the? So it's almost midnight, and I still have to drink my tea. We still have to do 24 days of tea, but I'm setting up to film early tomorrow morning. Um, I really wanted to do a review on the foundation that I picked up from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I wanted to do like a um, first impression type of video where we'll see how it wears throughout the day. It's my first time setting up the new backdrop, so that's why it's a bit of a struggle. I don't even know if I should use the new marble backdrop because sometimes I can have trouble with white balance, but... I don't know, we'll just go with it. I don't think it was a good idea setting up the new backdrop since I'm not really familiar with it. But I did figure it out. I just used these little clothes, clothes pins to kind of clamp it down so it doesn't unroll. In the process, it did get a little bit wrinkled. But, you know, it's all good. <laughs> so before we begin with 24 days of tea. I wanted to share with you the items that I picked up today. So from Walgreens, I picked up three of the new liquid cat suit. Um, these are liquid lipsticks from the brand Wet n Wild. I probably will film a review video on these, but I picked up three different shades. So this one is called Give Me Mocha, which is a, a really pretty kind of mauve pinky color. Next, we have more of like a pinky nude called Rebel Rose. And then we have a more vampy color called Video. Ooh, it's rolling away. This one is called Video Vixen. So keep an eye out for a review video on these. And then I went ahead and also purchased the Milani. This is called the Retouch and Erase. It's a concealer that's supposed to conceal dark circles, cover blemishes and imperfection, as well as it brightens. So I'm interested in trying this out. I got this in the shade 02 Light. And then from Bed Bath & Beyond, I got the huge size of the OGX Vitamin E Shampoo. 
And then I picked up this new nail polish from Sally Hansen. I saw this today at Walgreens, but at Walgreens it was like $8, $8 plus, which was a little bit much. It contains argon oil. And this is in the shade Exotic Asahi. It's a really pretty purple color. Tomorrow, I'm going to be reviewing this foundation from L'Oreal. It's the new Infallible Total Cover 24-hour um, foundation. So stay tuned for a review video. It is that time again for us to try out a different tea from the 24 Days of Tea from David's Tea. And we are on day number 12. Where are you, lucky day number 12? And you're right up here. Okay, number 12. Looks like this. Mm -hmm. And we have the tea called Bear Trap. Hmm. Ingredients for Bear Trap, hibiscus, elderberries, rose hip shells, apple, papaya, and then it says papaya sugar, lemon, verbena, black currants, blueberries, strawberry leaves, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, morello, cherries, natural red fruit flavoring. Hmm. Okay, so today's mug is the emoji winking. On the inside it has wink with a smiley face. This is my husband's mug. He claimed this because out of all of the mugs in my mug collection, this is the most masculine or closest to being the most masculine looking mug. So this is his, but as payback for the other day, we're gonna use his mug. <laughs> it has a very strong aroma of cranberries, strawberries. It has a lot of that berry flavor to it. Let's go ahead and put back day number 12. And there we go. It's coming along very nicely. Time to open our milk chocolate advent calendar. But unfortunately, day number 12 has already been eaten by my husband. So luckily, we have the other one. And we have day number 12, which is available. Ow! In their advent calendar. And we have a little elf. Today's image on the chocolate is a wreath. Mmm, this is good. Mm hmm. You can definitely taste the cranberries, the blueberries, a hint of strawberry. It's very subtle and smooth. It's not overpowering with a berry flavor. So this I think would be great, especially over ice. I don't know. I seem to like the ones that have like the berry flavor over ice. Maybe that's just like a personal preference, but mm-hmm. Now let's go ahead and eat our chocolate. Can you guys believe we are halfway through Vlogmas already? I can't even believe it. It seriously just felt like we just started Vlogmas and here we are halfway through the Vlogmas vlogs. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna go ahead and end Vlogmas day number 12. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and uh, we will see you tomorrow or I will see you bright and early tomorrow for Vlogmas day 13.